Hi, I'm Randy Vogel. When it comes to the natural world, there's always something interesting to see in Teleco Village. Perhaps you've noticed an osprey folding its wings, diving into Teleco Lake to retrieve a fish to take back to its nest. This past summer, it would have been hard to miss the millions of cicadas that emerged from the ground after 13 years of feeding on tree roots. Most recently, we've seen a phenomenon occur here in Teleco Village that was really quite magical, and that is the formation of frost flowers. Many, many people notice these ice formations at the base of weeds along the trails and roads in Teleco Village. They're actually not flowers, they're ice formations. And how these occur is there are very specific meteorological conditions that have to happen. What happens is the ground still has to have moisture in it and not be frozen. And then the air above gets below freezing and the plants have to still be in a state where they're not yet dormant so that there's sap in the stems. And what happens as we know, water expands when it freezes. So as it begins to freeze in the stem, slits begin to form. The stems actually crack. And when that happens, the water and the sap will start to ooze out ever so gently and the freezing conditions will freeze it into ice. More water is pulled up from the roots through capillary action and additional ice continues to form. Additional cracks happen and ice formations begin to occur in those cracks and slits also. As they freeze, the water that is still oozing out begins to freeze and it continues to push the existing ice out and you get these beautiful formations that occur that are called frost flowers. There are a variety of plants that create frost flowers or that actually can produce frost flowers. And we have several of those here in Teleco Village. That's why you see so many of the, the formations under these specific conditions. 
Three of those plants are crown beard, ironweed, and a third one, which is so well known for creating these frost flowers, it's actually called frostweed. So a lot of people have asked me, where do frost flowers occur? They don't recall seeing them back home, whether that's in Michigan or Minnesota, New York, or someplace else. They do tend to occur in the Midwest. I have seen them in my home state of Illinois, but admittedly not very often, pretty rare. They seem to be more prevalent in the Mid-South. So you'll see them across Southern Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, places like that. And I think it's because those meteorological conditions just line up perfectly in those geographic locations.
Now the time of the year, they can occur anytime from November into early to mid-December. Again, it happens before the ground freezes, but the air temperature gets below freezing and while the plants still have sap in the stems. So those conditions happen almost on an annual basis in Tennessee, East Tennessee, and Tellico Village in particular. So I've seen frost flowers here now, I believe on three successive years. This year, it was particularly spectacular and caught a lot of people's attention. Sometimes people wonder why frost flowers seem to form under certain conditions and maybe a week later it seems that those conditions are identical but no frost flowers form. There can be a variety of reasons for this. First of all, the soil may have cooled off significantly so water transfer isn't happening as rapidly up into the stem. Or it may be that the plant has exhausted all of the sap and all of the fluid from the stem via the previous event. So while it can happen again, it's relatively rare.